Hello, Leo! Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, read? I'm using Chakra Wisdom Tarot by Tori Hartman. Uh, I think it says artwork by Katrina Sokolova. Hope it's, hopefully it's close enough so you, you can read it if you want to. There's websites for them. Our websites for them. Uh, yeah. ToriHartman.com and is it Watkins? Yep, WatkinsPublishing.com. Feel free to freeze frame if you want that information, of course. Supportive Oracle Cards. You are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illus uh, illustrations by Elaine Marzen. Website for them that I got in the back here anyway is rockpoolpublishing.com.au. A is an apple, U is an umbrella. Whew. What do we have for Leo? I think you're going to be moving on from something. Are you or are you not? Yeah, I think something new is starting. Something has like come to like a fork in the road is kind of what I'm getting. Um, you're approaching the Two of Swords. That doesn't work for you. <laughs> um, that doesn't work for Leo. No. I feel like we're hitting this block and you're like, well, this isn't going to work. Uh, what am I going to do? I, I'm not going to hang out at this roadblock and wait for it to lift. I'm like, well, if I can't get around it, over it, or through it, I'll go somewhere else and do something else. It's just kind of like, for a lot of you, I think this is a job situation. And it's kind of like, I feel like I've gone as far as I can in this direction. So now I got to do something different. It could be in the same business, company, or whatever. But it's kind of like, and it doesn't, it, take it with a grain of salt. Wherever way, like if this hits for romance or something else for you, you know, take it with a grain of salt you know what, it's going to hit for you best. But it's kind of like, no, this isn't going any farther. It's stagnating. I'm bored with it. It's just not working for me anymore. Um, and you're going to make a choice. What is this? Warrior attitude. You might give this... This is face down. You might. Some of you might. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is actually a good idea. Before you change, or before you make the change, evaluate what you're considering. So, like, if it's going to be, like, a business thing, and you've got a certain job, and you're like, well, this job has, this is as far as I can take it. Fight for what you want, within respect. Like, if, if it's in this, if, you, if you're like, well, I'll go somewhere else in the company, you know, obviously make sure you don't shoot yourself in the foot when you fight for what you want. But, like, go into management or whatever and tell them you know what I'm not happy so if this doesn't change I'm going to change so either you can help me make this better and work with me on this or I'm going to a different department or even a different company if you don't work with me because I feel like they will take you seriously because your energy is very dynamic and they're kind of like when you say you're like listen I'm bored with this you either help me do something different or I'll find a way to make it happen in my own life I don't need you to do that but if you like me and you want to keep me around, you better keep me happy. So figure out a way to do that. Um, some of them would really appreciate the heads up, and I feel like they would bend over backwards to keep you, just to keep you, just in case. Like especially if you're in a job or you're you're gonna like leave the company, give them a heads up, give them a chance to do better, because they might surprise you. Um, take that with a grain of salt. You decide whether that's right or not. Of course, you have other analogies. This could be a love relationship or something else. Put out the information. Before you make the change, make it known. You're not happy, and this is why you're not happy. Because ironically, even though Leo is very good with putting out there what they're thinking, you're also very smart when you're like, well, sometimes I keep things to myself because it's just going to shoot me in the foot, so I just keep it to myself. Um, I think Leo learns that over time. Like, okay, I'm just going to avoid that subject because I'm going to end up shooting myself in the foot. In this situation, in this analogy, I'm getting put it out there. Start the conversation. Is that how it works for you guys? Because I think that's how it works. Like, well, I'll just stay away from it. <laughs> Before I shoot myself in the foot, I'll just avoid that conversation with this person or that subject. Because once I open the door, I will say what I'm thinking. I will say how I'm feeling. Um, 
Where is it going next? Because I'm getting like something new is coming in. One way or another, it's coming in. You got a lot of new energy coming in. You got Ace of Wands coming in. You got the Ace of Pentacles coming in. You got the Knight of Swords coming in. So the Knight of Swords is in your hands, though. Like, you go looking for something, you're going to find it. You're going to find what you want. You're going to find the value you're looking for. So in case it's not a work situation, whatever it is, you'll find that value you're looking for. You're going to move on it as quickly. You're going to work on it, move on it pretty quickly. Um, you're not going to wait for somebody else to give you permission. You're like, yeah, that block, have fun with that. I got to go. Um, the energy you're dealing with currently, whatever this block is, is waiting for you to tell them. They're waiting for you to tell them. There could be a lot of good options here still for you. Communicate with whatever you're waiting for. I'm just getting like, just so you know what's there before you walk away from it. It'll help you make a more informed decision, especially if you're going to walk away anyway. What, what do you got to lose, right? Um, yeah, because there's quick changes. Quick. It's very interesting. Yeah, fire with Earth coming in, which is telling me you got a lot of value coming in. You got something very stable, something that's going to last a long time. But things are switching up really quick. Once you make your decision, you're going to move fast. So they're like, before you do that, put it out there. Just put it out there because what could make this go better is instead of just walking away from something, informing somebody of what you've been feeling. Because I do feel like you've been holding back. Now, I know Leo can do that. People don't seem to think Leo can. But when you decide you're not going to talk about something, you'll talk about everything but. I'm getting hiccups with this. So say, say you don't want to talk about, just make it stupid, cherry gumdrops. You don't want to talk about cherry gumdrops. You'll talk about the bowl, you'll talk about the table, you'll talk about the room, you'll talk about people in the room. You will talk about everything else, but you'll never talk about those cherry gumdrops because you're like, yeah, I don't want to talk about how much I hate those. <laughs> you're like, I don't want to highlight that I hate those because <clears throat> we start talking about it and I, it'll, it'll, it'll spill right out of my mouth that I'm like, yeah, I hate those. Um, if you decided you're not going to give that information up, you'll talk about everything but. And if somebody tries to ask you, like, do you like those cherry gumdrops? And you're like, well, you know, I have been doing this and that and the other thing. You will go right around it and they won't know the difference. People forget that. I don't know if people forget or don't realize that if Leo doesn't want to talk about something, they're not going to talk about it. Um, if a conversation's off limits, then a conversation is off limits. Um, <clears throat> I think sometimes people forget that or don't realize it. I think, I'm not sure it's forget that or just don't realize. If you don't want to talk about it, you ain't going to talk about it. They're saying talk about what you're holding back. Um, the energy around you is follower energy. Which your leader anyway, you do have the passion with the leadership here, which... It's kind of redundant for Leo. Like your 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 first string, your leader, your offense. That's what you guys are. You're just you're not the you're not the backup. You're the offense usually. I mean, I know there's rare, very very rare exceptions with Leo. Once in a while, it does happen. It's very rare. Um, <coughs> but the energy you're dealing with is like totally follower energy. I think this could work for you because I'm getting like fire the page of fire and earth. Oh, is that the page two? I think these are all pages in this deck. It does kind of feel, and swords. So everything is a follower when it comes to you here. You might be surprised at how well this goes for you. I just feel like you don't have a lot of faith in whoever you're dealing with. <coughs> it's, it's because, it's. I think part of it is because when they come up to this block, they just accept it. And that kind of shakes your faith in them. Like, what? You hit a you hit a roadblock in the road, and you're just like, you're just gonna sit there. You're just gonna sit there. I gotta go then. I'm gonna find something else to do. If you tell them, listen, if you're just gonna sit here at this roadblock, I'm leaving. So either do something with that roadblock, or I'm out. They're gonna. They're, that's gonna light a fire under their butt. And they're like, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me do something about this. I, I'm sure I can do something. Let me let me do this. Let me do that. Like. Ironically, it may sound ridiculous, but I feel like they come up to this roadblock and they're just accepting it, which, are, which is very aggravating for you. Kind of like, whatever. 
But if you tell them, all right, if you're going to stay here for the rest of your life, I'm not. I'm going to leave. So either get rid of that roadblock, work on getting rid of it. I mean, I'll even help you. I mean, I would help you get rid of that. But if you're just going to sit there and go, blah, 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 I can't be here for you. Um, so do something or don't. They will actually get up. They will light a fire under their butt. And they may actually surprise you. You may also, just to be fair, you may see that they do something and you don't really care for what they're doing. But if you have to at least get them to move to find out if you like it. If you don't like what they're doing, you still have the option to go, obviously. So might as well light that fire, see what happens. You like it? Cool. You don't? Keep going. You're, just, you're still going to leave anyway. You might as well find out before you go. I think it'll work to your advantage, though. If you light that fire under this person's butt, I think you'll be happy with it. Because it'll start. things will start moving again. Things will be lively again. Things will start going the way they need to. <coughs> yeah, because I feel the life journey can keep going with this. I don't think this has to end. It's up to you. You're in control of this. Like, do we want to keep this going or am I done? I just feel like you're looking at this. You don't have faith in whatever stopped. Whatever whatever accepted the boundary, whatever accepted the block, you're like, ugh, why? Why did you accept that? You can inspire them and light a fire under their butt. I would say do it just to see what happens. Is that a troublemaker thing? I don't know. <laughs> do I sound like a troublemaker saying that? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Why not? I don't think it'll be bad. I don't see like I don't feel bad about it. I don't see the devil card. So I don't see the tower. I don't see anything like that showing up. So <laughs> I can't guarantee that type of option will happen. But I don't think it'll happen for you. It'll be fine for you either way. I feel like whatever this block is, it needs to be dealt with. So if you light a fire under this person's butt, at the very least, you're helping something move forward, even if you do decide to go your own way anyway. So it's not like it's for nothing. All right, I think that's it. I'm going to shut this down here. Thank you for watching. Is there anything else? I think we're good. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's James the number four. Astral at gmail.com if you're interested in the donation information same email that information is below thank you for watching and have a great day